It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back on, here. This will be a Let's touchback, go. and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Try again from the 25 on second and 10. At the 25 yard line. Shoot! Watch the shoot! Running right. This is Ingram. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, 67 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here we go, 46. You got time. You got time. You got time. Take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Now a play fake here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. A well-executed safety blitz by Tony Jefferson leads to the sack. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. He was able to pick up six yards there, so that leaves him with a third and 13. 
A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third and one from Prescott. Complete to Jason Witten. And they're going to have this in a great spot way down in Baltimore territory. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First down, Prescott. Flush to his right. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, and that is caught. It's Witten for the Cowboy touchdown. Jason Witten there to make the grab as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last goal around. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On second down now, it's Ingram. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Here we go, here we go. From the gun, it's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got Snead. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. to six. This is Ingram on first and ten. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Oh, well, he's got some breathing room. There he goes, left side. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half as the Ravens push further out in front. Tucker now for the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards the final tally. 
There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Elliott on first down, going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they're dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get up field and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, does it bring in your tight end, keep him in? Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Check three, check three, check three. They begin the drive with Hill. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Mike 55, Mike 55. Let's go D, tighten up. Let's go D, tighten up. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Switch, switch, switch. Same on. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Now it's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. They'll go with Hill here on first down. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And down to the 16-yard line. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Let's go, let's go. First and 10 at the 16 yard line. Fans, a reminder I have a note card here that says ad lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey, but you know, writing down your ad lib. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Garner. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Now it's Jackson. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and goal. At the six-yard line. It's a give to the right, Ingram. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and they're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Third and goal. Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. Touchdown, Baltimore. Willie Sneed. 
there to make the grab as the Ravens push further out in front. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, they just run the clock down to the locker room. Throwing again on second down. Prescott, he's going to find Gallup here complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, we gonna mic the 48 right now. Let's go. Watch the run. Watch the run. Here we go. Go to 54. Go to 54. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. Watch the ship. Kill, kill. 47. 46. Prescott from the gun. He sets the fire deep. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. They are Intercepted. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. step aside this is the nfl on ea sports welcome back halftime over we are ready for quarter number three alongside charles davis i'm brandon gordon both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three that'll be taken in the end zone and he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23 yard line About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. And this is a new way of doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. Let's we'll see if that script is a good one for them. Escapes the sack. here as he's taken down. Tony Jefferson, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Prescott. And for a third time tonight, he's under 
intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl, Marcus Peters. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. He can't hang. He's not going to get me. Now Hill trying to run inside, but nothing there. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. No gain on the play. Second and Looking to throw on second down. Jackson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Roberts has him. 23 yards on the play. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. A loss of two there, second down. On second and 12, Jackson forced out to, and all it will be intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. To throw on second and six, Prescott. And that's incomplete. Cooper was the target there, but now it'll be third down. Just work with me a second here, because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, I feel like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start hitting more targets. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Right there. Right there, right there. 54 Mike. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Mike's 54. Mike's 54. Smoke, smoke. Slam. Hey, watch that. Watch that. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. Throwing again. Jackson flushed out. Right. 
That's has got it. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? Anytime you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you're just hoping that they make good decisions because so many things can happen that can go wrong when you throw it downfield like that. He got away with it there and in a big way. Throwing is Jackson. Flush to his right. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Jackson to throw again. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure off the passer. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. I got you. I got you. Complete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. No chance at all. Way easier said than done. Tackles made at the Cowboys 17 yard line. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Back to the ground. It's Hill. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Two of their three red zone trips so far. They've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll try to pound it in with Hill. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Second and goal at the 10-yard line. Second down and goal. Jackson. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Xavier Woods with a pick. Two score game here in the fourth. 
and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. The drive starts with a completion left side, and he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Prescott to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And some room to work. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. To throw his press down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. The interception rolls, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing it. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he will find Hurst in the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Ravens have used the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they do the interception and finish off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's all we can get it done. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. 46, 46. To throw again on second down. Prescott, he's going to let it fly. And my goodness, another interception. 